We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. The new drought update is out and it's really hasn't changed all that much. We still have severe drought across a good portion of the state. It now accounts for 38% of the state here in that burnt orange color. So any rain is good rain, right? Well, except that most of it's probably going to be in southern Iowa, at least the most beneficial of that rain over the next several days. This is a really challenging forecast because it's really dependent on where different outflow boundaries set up when we see stable versus unstable stable air in the atmosphere. There's a lot going on. So the first round of storms will come in overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. That'll be across northern and central Iowa, but I don't think those will be quite as heavy. Tomorrow evening we will see this in central and southern Iowa. Storms will develop. A couple of them could be severe and then overnight into Saturday morning. So overnight tomorrow night into Saturday morning, it'll translate to a heavier rain threat and that'll be mainly south of I-80. That's the area that doesn't need the rain quite as much as the northern part of the state. As we go through the rest of today, I still expect this cloud cover to stick around with us. We will see a few breaks for the sun, but not a lot. 73 degrees by 2 o'clock, mid to upper 70s through the afternoon. That is certainly cooler than average. The high temperature in Des Moines probably only gets to about 77 degrees. I've dialed that back a little bit as a result of that cloud cover, mid to upper 70s across most of the state. So we stay cool. There could be a couple of rain showers in northwestern Iowa this morning as well. You can look at this trend over the last couple of hours, those showers have started to fall apart, so I think they will continue to do so as they move closer to central Iowa, but you may get a little drizzle there or light rain. It's moving through Pocahontas now. Humboldt, you'll be up next. A little bit of light rain in Kasuth County and Algona and perhaps a quick downpour or shower possible in Fort Dodge as well. We will see that generally clearing out of the area tonight. We watch for that secondary round of thunderstorms to develop, so that'll come in after midnight. This will be the first wave or so. We will see those roll through, stick around through at least mid morning tomorrow, if not late morning, and then we will see another wave developing tomorrow evening, and this could be on the heavier side. There could be some heavier thunderstorms here. I do think that these will be a little bit farther west and southwest, but still, we will see those through central and southern Iowa, and this is midnight tomorrow night, 12 a.m. Saturday, where it just continues these waves of showers and storms. So it's not going to rain everywhere every single time. There will be gaps, there will be breaks, but it will be a fairly stormy pattern that'll linger into Saturday morning, too. As far as rainfall totals go, we could be looking at some spots, an inch to an inch and a half. There could be a couple of places that get over two inches. It just depends, again, on where those stronger thunderstorms set up, where they train over one area for a little bit longer. There is a risk for severe weather in central and southwestern Iowa, southern Iowa highlighted in yellow, a level two risk tomorrow. It is contingent on how long the morning storms stick around. The longer those stick with us, the less sunshine we see, the more stable our atmosphere will be. So it's really dependent on that. With that being said, we want you to be aware of that threat. Hail wind could be possible an isolated tornado in storms that get out ahead of the main cluster of storms. And again, we could see flooding too if we get that rainfall over one area for too long. I know it's a big weekend with events. The Corn Belt 150 at Knoxville Raceway tomorrow night. I've already had like five people say, is it going to storm there in Knoxville? I think we will have scattered storms around. I don't think it'll pour the entire time, but I would say bet on some wet weather for sure. There will be this upper level low that keeps the rain chances in place Saturday into Sunday too, and that'll keep our high temperatures in the 70s over the weekend. A quick look at our 10 day forecast. We expect to see cooler than average weather, wetter weather before we warm up again next week. Lincoln. All right, Brandon, thank you. Yeah, so make sure you might want to have an umbrella before you leave the house. So feeding hundreds help 14